switch it with how you like to wrestle. If you like to do chop, I like to be on the outside here because then I can try. But if you want to get under your so if you want to get under his arms, I like to keep my hands under. So just come on the outside. And so once the whistle blows, I'm going straight to the spiral, little claw ride. I like to come up to the shoulder, this trap, or if you really got really long arms, you can go up to that neck and really crank. Uh, I think if this position is any any strong position on top, you want to glue yourself to this guy while also putting pressure down. So his goal is to get off the bottom. So if we're putting that pressure down and having no space, it's going to be really hard and difficult, and it's going to mess up this guy's mentality throughout a match. So stay underneath this arm here. I like to stay tight with my tight waist here. I'm almost squeezing him. I like to squeeze myself when I set. Not a tight waist, but that's what pries me into him. Right off the whistle, I'm ready to go to this ball. My opposite hand is going to a pry in between his hamstring and squat here. Uh, once I got that pry, what I like to do is I like to run all the way to the opposite side here. And as I'm running, I'm throwing in a tilt and lifting up this bottom leg. And it's really important here to catch that. So here, reaching under, grabbing this trap, and you're pulling it down. It's not light. This is a really important key here, is to pull down this uh, his trap, his neck. It's going to put a lot of pressure because on top of that, I'm driving off my toes little by little. So now that I have this, I'm trying my hand. And I'm planting my bottom foot. This will keep him in my saddle here. And once I want to roll through, pop him over, cover the hips, and just split the legs into a turn. Just a very powerful position. I'll show that one more time. We're just getting a claw. We're making sure we have a lot of pressure. And as we shift our hips, it's going to pull his head down and put a lot of pressure on him. Here, little cinch, right my hips, catch in here, get a count, flip here, and you can work to whatever you want. But the next transition, uh, these ones go hand in hand because sometimes you may not get that strong grip on someone about them, and they're going to have that reaction of wanting to stand up. So for the next one, we're still underneath here. So as soon as I get it, when he stands up. From here, I'm switching my back to this opposite hand that's not on his neck to his uh, inner uh, quad area. And from here, all you're going to do is squat your legs here. And once again, we're pulling this down. Squat it. Lift it. You can get a lot of points here. And it puts them over onto their, onto their back as well. We're here to be good partners, knowing how to put ourselves into uncomfortable situations so when we do get in these situations, we feel good about it. So once again, this one, right away, we're shooting from the coin. Notice my feet here. So I'm not going to be able to lift them from back here. Same with the, a mat return. I'm not going to lift here because I'm just wasting strength. You want to find leverage. It's, it's all in the fitness. So once I got my grip here on the side, stepping out just like a mat return. Not straight behind him, it's going to be really tough. Let's make it easier. So once we get this uh, foot to the front, back hand comes in between his legs. We're going to pop our hips and be respectable. We're not here to break our opponent right now in practice. We're here to learn some moves. So I'll go through them one more time. First move, getting underneath in the claw. We have that thigh cry. We're driving off our toes, shifting hips to the other side. Catching him here, lifting that back foot, bring him through. And then when the bottom guy stands up, oh, oh, take him for a ride. <coughs> you guys think we can try this out? All right, let's do it. One, two.